Whether you're in the backyard camping or even powering your entire home, it can be done with a small box that you can carry around with you and you won't even know when the power goes out. Essentially, it's a box with some outlets that you can plug stuff into even your entire home. It's that simple. This video will help you understand how much power you use, how many watts you need to power your lifestyle, and which solar power generators are right for you. This is the ultimate buyer's guide to available portable power stations and solar panels. Welcome to the Adventure Tech channel. We focus on cost-effective, high-quality solutions to a more comfortable and affordable lifestyle using the most advanced and current technologies available, including solar power, portable power generators, electric vehicles, and more. Technology is moving really quickly these days, so it's easy to be left behind. I'm gonna help make things easy for you. I'll do the research so you don't have to. But why should you trust me? Well, I spent over 10 years traveling around the United States as an industrial and environmental inspector using advanced technology like ultrasound and electromagnets to literally see through and inspect machinery. As an inspector, I've experienced with nearly every component you'll find in these places. I've spent time hundreds of feet high, hanging off of towers, taking thickness readings, crawling through eight inch wide manways into dryer cans that make paper, and even spent time inside tanks that hold the most dangerous chemicals known to man, requiring full oxygen even near the entrance to these tanks. Plus, I've driven days straight across the country and know all about what works and what doesn't on the road and in off-grid situations. Now I'm happy to share what I've learned and my experiences with you. Okay, the next company we're going into is EcoFlow. EcoFlow has the Delta Series and River Series power stations. You can use an app to monitor the devices. The batteries are made from lithium ion phosphate and offer up to 10 years of use or over 3,000 cycles of charging, maintaining 80% capacity. Power systems have built-in battery management systems that regulate vitals such as voltage current, temperature, keeping these setups very safe for many years. These units also have extremely fast charging capabilities. Another unique feature is called X-Boost, which seems to let these units run at an extra 25% wattage continuously. So here's the Delta series. The Delta 2 Max is two kilowatt power station for $1,900 with optional upgrade to six kilowatt hours by adding up to two expansion batteries. You get 2400 watts and 4800 watt peak and these weigh about 50 pounds as you can see you get a lot of outlets on this unit and on different sides so you're not always fighting for room to plug things in the delta 2 is a step down at one kilowatt hour for one thousand dollars starting out with an optional upgrade with extra expansion battery for up to three kilowatt hours total wattage is 1800 watts with a peak topping out at 2700 watts total weight is 27 pounds. The Delta Pro is 3.6 kilowatt hours for $3,000 upgradable up to 25 kilowatt hours, which is nearly your average daily use of 30 kilowatt hours. This weighs 100 pounds and gives you 3,600 watts and peaks at 7,200 watts. You get plenty of ports and outlets on this. This system can act as a home backup and can even be charged at EV stations. The Delta Max starts at $1,400 on sale from original price of $2,100. It seems there's a lot of deals on EcoFlow right now you could take advantage of. This power station gives you 2 kilowatt hours. It runs at 2,400 watts, peaking at 5,000 watts. EcoFlow is one of the best companies if having a lot of readily usable ports and outlets is a necessity for your use. You can upgrade this system up to 6 kilowatt hours. The original Delta is 1.2 kilowatt power station that costs $730 right now with an original price of $1,400. That's a huge discount. Maybe they're getting ready to roll out a new line of stations in the near future, or they're just feeling generous. Probably the first thing. Seems everything is marked down a lot. The Delta's 1800 watt output peaks at 3,300. It weighs about 30 pounds of plenty of charging ports and outlets. The Delta Mini is the smallest in the Delta series at only $550 right now, marked down from a thousand. Gives you 0.8 kilowatt hours, 1400 watt output peaking at 2100 watts. This little power station weighs about 24 pounds and still has quite a few plugs on it for its size. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the River Series. The River 2 power station is 0.25 kilowatt hours with an output of 300 watts and 600 watt peak for the price of 239. Weighs less than eight pounds. Like all EcoFlow power stations, you get an amazing long lifetime, fast charging, and safety features. The River 2 Max is 0.5 with an output of 500 watts with a peak surge of 1,000 watts for a price of $470. This one weighs 13.4 pounds. The next size up is the River 2 Pro, 0.75 kilowatt hour storage, output of 800 watts, and it can peak at 1,600 watts for a price of $600. This power station weighs about 17 pounds and offers a nice upgrade from the River Max 2 with additional outlets. The River Pro is pretty similar, 0.72 kilowatt storage for the price of 650. It outputs at 600 watts and peak surge of 1200. 
The River Pro also has an expansion battery available that doubles the capacity to 1.44 kilowatt hours, weighs about 17 pounds by itself. Those are all the power stations that EcoFlow has to offer at this time. EcoFlow also has some home backup setups for UPS and off-grid situations starting at $4,800 for two kilowatts of storage, upwards to 15 kilowatt systems for around 17 grand. Now let's take a look at the solar panels EcoFlow has available right now. They have both portable and mountable solar panels. For the portable panels, they have the folding 400 watt setup for $1,000, putting it at $2.50 per watt. The 400 watt panels from EcoFlow have a 22.6 conversion rate. The 220 watt panels are bifacial and have a conversion rate of 23%. They're $550, putting these at $2.50 per watt. The 160 watt panels are 21 conversion rate, cost $350, putting them at $2.18 per watt. The 110 watt panels are 22.8 conversion rate, cost $169, putting them at $1.53 per watt, very low price per watt. The 60 watt portable panels are 21% conversion rate for $139, putting them at $2.31 per watt. All of the portable panels are IP68 water resistant and dust resistant, except for the 60 watt panels, which are IP67 rating. The mountable panels from EcoFlow come in three sizes and all AP68 water resistant rating and 23% conversion rate. The 100 watt mountable panels are $200, putting them at $2 per watt. The 400 watt mountable panels are $1,000, putting them at $2.50 per watt. And the flexible 100 watt panels are $159, placing them at an amazing price of $1.59 per watt. Another crazy hard to beat price. It's pretty clear to see that it's pretty hard to compete with some of the prices on the solar panels from EcoFlow. Look at the power stations organized by cost per megawatt hour. You have a range here. Anchor seems to be right in the middle. EcoFlow and Blue Eddy, the cheapest, and Jackery seems to be the most expensive. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at the power stations organized by megawatt hour per pound and weight. The heavier devices that can't store as much power per pound of weight are the Blue Eddies and some of the anchor devices. When you get down into the best, most efficient devices that can give you the most storage per weight, you're looking at Jackery and EcoFlow. Those are some of the most efficient devices giving you the lightest weight. So I would recommend those companies if you're looking for something really light and portable. If you're not too worried about portability and things like that, head right over to Blue Eddy. Now taking a look at the solar panels organized by cost per watt. EcoFlow is right there on top of Blue Eddy. They have some of the best deals, including $1.53 per watt. That's amazing. Then when you get on the more expensive end, you're looking at Anchor and Jackery. They seem to be the most expensive solar panels right now on the market, as far as these companies go. This data sheet took hours and hours to put together. I really hope it helps you guys out. Now on this channel, I'm always putting in hard work to save you time and money. I generally wanna help. I never use AI or anything like that to create my content, 100% hard work. So please do that, click on the thumbs up thing, leave a comment and subscribe, and most importantly, click the bell icon and be able to see new videos when I post. I'm also a professional photographer and producer. The money made from the work that I do helps to fund my channels, keep food in my fridge. I've helped thousands of people by creating videos for their products over the last 10 years. If you're a brand or if you have questions, you can email me at reviewcentral.media at gmail.com. If you have a product review inquiry, sample product for testing, or want us to film a video for your team, with over 400 awards, including the YouTube Silver Award, I produce videos for TV channels like Home Shopping Network, QVC, made content for William Shatner and NASA. I film videos for Anchor and hundreds of other brands. And when you work with me, you work directly with the channels, so every penny you spend actually goes to the production budget. You don't pay any middleman. I have a wide range of pricing to accommodate pretty much anyone. We can even do some videos for free sometimes too, so please reach out, I'd love to help. See you in the next video, everyone. Leave a comment if you have questions or want us to make a video about a certain topic or product. I really hope this video about power stations and solar panels helped you out making your decisions.